Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Material Energy number 4, Hypercubed. Apparently that's what the 4 stands for anyway. Welcome back, thank you ever so much for all your feedback and support on the first episode. Lots of lovely comments and some very helpful ones as well. I've got to say, we're going to be a team in this thing. I'm not going to be able to get through it without your feedback. There was something very obvious that I kind of just overlooked. Um, if we stand on this thing, the spatial I.O. down there, that actually controls what's going to be in this big space right here. So if you remember, we placed down some red stained clay and I bridged all the way to the center. That was very silly. That was not what we were supposed to do. And I manually removed all of those blocks with my fist, which was so much fun. I'm sorry I didn't share it with you on camera, but I, I just felt like Hey, let's get that done and start the episode. Of course, I'm joking around. So, I've got a whole bunch of things to talk about, actually. But I think what we should do, first of all, is uh, get this spatial I.O. thing going. So, we can actually, you know, make some progress. Destination is obstructed. I clicked on the wrong one. There we go. So, this is the spatial I.O. And uh, in here... Not in there, sorry. In this thing, in the ME terminal, we can grab the inclusion chamber. So, if you have a look at that, it tells you it's stored size. I think that's actually, like... Um, the room, oh, and I'm pressing the uh, wrong keys there, the room stored inside this little drive right here. So when we put this thing in there and then press this button, that should activate it. And uh, there's a kind of floaty icon. I'm not sure what that's about, but it stayed on that side. Hopefully we didn't have to put it on that side over there. Anyway, we should go back up and maybe now we will see a room do we see a room? Yes, we do. We did it. Awesome. Okay, that is very cool. That means we're going to make some progress. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be some bad guys in here. I remember this room from Generic's video. And I'm always doing other things when I'm watching videos. So it's pretty typical that I miss some of the important details like that. Anyway, before we go in there, a couple of things I want to tell you about. Uh, this weapon right here is really cool. It's very fast attack and uh, ignores the armor of a mob. So if you see a mob wearing armor, then this is the kind of weapon because it's going to go straight through that. And also it does 150% damage and you can press the right click button to, uh, to bounce backwards like that kind of derpy. Yeah, right, so let's get into it. Let's do this dungeon. Um, there's a few more things I'm going to be telling you about as we go through here, because I uh, learned a few things in between the episodes from you guys and from doing some research as well. But for now, we're going to walk on in here, and I'm pretty sure we're going to encounter some bad guys. Now, that looks like possibly a hole that I don't want to fall into, but I kind of want to look over the edge. Maybe we'll have to go down there. And uh, apparently we will get some tools when we go into the green room, was a comment I got from a few people. I see a chest down there. That's something that we got to be doing, uh, looking out for chests as we play. And I can't see it now. So on the other side of the stairs, that's cool. And look at that, some wood. We need that for a quest and also to make ourselves some tools. This is really cool. Okay. Oh, look at that, some armor as well. And <laughs> protection 5 potato. Oh, that is silly. Okay, this is really cool stuff. And look at my inventory right here. We're going to take the armor because we need to be safe in this area. And then we're going to continue having a nosy around. Of course, I'm going to come back and uh, look at this stuff. I think what we need to do is set up our ME storage system. And look at that. <laughs> I'm covered in wood. Brilliant. <laughs> I do like it. I love some of the things they come up with for these mods. Um, so let's collect these because I think we need some of these for a quest. And while we're doing that, maybe there's something else that we could talk about. You see, I've got a couple of those reward bags in my inventory. Um, they are... Basically, you get a reward each time. And then the percentage that it shows you... I heard a zombie. <laughs> is the chance that you actually had to get that item. So you always get an item, and then it kind of displays, you know, which one you had a chance of getting. Which should be pretty self-explanatory when we do that. We're going to open those up in a moment. And I'm just out of reach of that one. That means we've got to pillar up quickly here. And this is great. There was also a pick in that chest, by the way. I should have grabbed that. Let's pill her up again. This is not what you want to see, is it? Really? We need to get into doing some things. Right, let's get these two blocks. Let me show you the reward bag thing. And uh, what else was it? Oh, yeah, I also deactivated the reactor. You guys were telling me to do that. And I've enabled my um, auto-saving checkpoint thing. That actually crashed my game when I tested it. I tried to see if it would work, and it crashed my game. So I was a little bit worried about that. So we got... Look at that, 20 glowstone, so we had a 1.42% chance to actually get the glowstone. That's kind of how it works. And there we go, we've got a hoe as well. A wooden hoe. Actually, I don't think it's a wooden hoe. <clears throat> it is something slightly different. And if I sound a little croaky today, I went to a gig last night, so my voice is a little bit sore from all the cheering and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, yeah, so I think we need to transport those things back in a bit. We've got some wood for that quest. Let's open up our quest book and go right into it. I remember my way around this thing. There we go. And it's probably this one right here. There we go. Unclaimed reward. Look at that. Let's make sure we've got space in our inventory. We need three slots for that. And we have one. Okay, I think it's time for me to head back and sort out our storage system. We're going to be using ME. Oh, I can't go that way. And uh, I think we're going to set it up in this little room over here, which is how I saw Generic do it. I've only watched his first two videos. I now, I now sort of don't want to watch um, any more of the videos because of spoilers and stuff like that. So we're going to set up a little ME terminal here, and then we're going to use this as our storage area. So in the beginning here, we're going to try to rely on ME as little as possible because I really don't understand this. I've just been reading some tutorials, and I'm, I feel like I'm more confused than when I started. But we're going to try and uh, and do this. So we need one of these things right here, an ME drive. And this is going to be for storing items which are going to be stored in the form of energy. And uh, this stuff right here is like data that holds the items, I do believe. We're also going to need a terminal to interface with this. Now, the way I saw Generic do it is he placed it next to this thing and it connected up, but I can't like figure out what exactly it is this is actually doing. And uh, the guide that I read said we're supposed to use, um, it's in this chest right here, this stuff right here to connect it all up. So um, if we plop that down, that connects to that. We can then put this thing inside of there, so that's going to allow us to store items. And then if we put this thing on top, maybe? That doesn't look right. <laughs> that's that's not right at all. Um, let's remove that. How do we remove it, though? Because um, you've probably got to use a special tool. Let's try... I think I've got the wrench in this thing right here. This is where I'm doing it all horribly wrong. Um, does this thing remove it? No, it doesn't. Maybe we are just supposed to break it. And we got it back. Okay, I didn't fail. <laughs> and maybe you're supposed to do it like this, I think is what it was saying. So now we can interface with that drive. Does that mean we can drop things in here? It does, okay. Oh, no, I always press those buttons trying to do something else. Okay, so I think that's now stored in there. It says 11 of 1024 bytes use, one of 63 types. So I imagine the type means a different type of item. So you've got a limit there for how many. And then 11 of 1024 you see, that's 23 items, but it says 11, so I'm not sure what exactly is going on there. Maybe it's half for each thing that you do. So that's our storage setup for now. What we're going to do, though, is go back in there and uh, continue exploring. I'll sort out all of this stuff and put it in there later, but at least we've made a start on that. Hopefully we don't have to expand that too much, because I do find it all very confusing. Um, I'm not a learner. Uh, <laughs> that's a strange sentence. I'm not the sort of learner that um, other people are, you know. I find it really difficult to learn by watching people's uh, videos and guides and tutorials, which uh, makes it difficult, because there's a lot of videos out there, but they don't make a lot of sense to me. Anyway, let's forget about all of that stuff right now. Let's claim our reward. <laughs> I love that sound. Uh, we got a better pick. That's a really cool thing. And we also got some fertilizer. Not sure what that's going to do. Probably for growing plants. And a slime hatchet. That's cool. That'll help us chop down some trees. Right, so um, I was standing back here a moment ago. I noticed, look, we can see there's a green room there. Doesn't appear to be too much above us. A red room on that side. A room at the back. And then one down the bottom there on the right-hand side. So we'll go through these uh, one by one. And maybe we'll make some ladders so we can get back up from there. Because that... Looks like, okay, so when, oh, we got some ladders here as well. We could actually steal those ladders. Amazing. And we've got a chest. Have we got anything else hidden around here? I know there's a few hidden things. Actually, one of the things I'd like to do is go and pick up um, all of the trophies that are scattered around the place. This looks really cool. So glass, panels, or panes even, um, some comparators, just a bunch of redstone stuff, some torches. Strange, not what I was expecting to see, but maybe this will become useful for something. Also got some Ender IO alloys there as well. They can be useful. Okay, so that was uh, an interesting reward, I guess. Let's steal some of these ladders while we're here. Oh, that's nice and fast. That's good. And uh, let's take a couple there as well. And that one. And then we should be able to get out of here and climb up to the next level. That's cool. So we can be able to go down here with those ladders. Oh, there's already ladders here. Brilliant. Okay, I'm being silly. Right, <clears throat> let's go around to this other side. Have we got ladders here? Yes, we have. That's good. Don't know what to expect down here. This is going into an area I couldn't really see before. I am cautious. I know there's going to be mobs at some point. And wow, look at this down here. Okay, this looks like a bit of the old um, CTM style dungeon area. And we probably don't want to fall down below. Let's actually go and have a look at what was down the center before we take on that bit. 
got a feeling there might be something more useful down there. We might have also completed another quest because um, there was a red room one. There we go, look, we can claim a reward. And there's that lovely sound. <laughs> Let's open our reward bag as well, I like doing this. Where are you, reward bag? You're right there. And we got ten paper arrows, which we can barely see. Cool stuff. Okay, um, let's hop down here then and do this next bit. I want to fight some mobs, to be honest, at the moment. That's the stuff I like. And that looks like a lot of mobs that I'm probably not going to be able to deal with too well. Let's uh, put a few across like that. Stop this guy coming over here. So, what did we see? We saw <laughs> a heck of a lot of archers. Some creepers and witches as well as zombies. I don't think we're going to go in there just yet. We're actually going to go back down to that other one. That had less mobs. Oh, crazy stuff. Yeah, we need to get geared up a little bit more, I guess. And uh, I'm going to have to look at all the resources and think about what we can make with them. I think you're supposed to make armor and stuff out of them and all of that kind of stuff like a regular CTM. It's just all the mod stuff kind of throws me off a little bit. If this was all vanilla, it all makes sense, you know. So, uh... Where did that guy go? There was a guy... You're going off the edge, mate. See you later. <laughs> and I don't know what these red X's are at all. I don't know what they represent. Um, we're looking for chests, by the way, probably. In this place. I don't see any at the moment. We've got some pillars. <laughs> and not a lot else going on. Maybe we weren't supposed to come down here. Who knows? I really don't think we were, actually. Oh, it goes down here. Okay, that might lead somewhere. Ah, oh, okay, I see. So this is just the top of some form of dungeon. So we want a way down where we can get back and uh, I guess I should be looking for ladders perhaps, although we do have some of our own ladders. <gasps> no, 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 that was really bad. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh, are we okay? I don't think we got followed down here by that mob. And there's a flux block, okay. And then I guess maybe we should just keep heading down. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure. There we go. Okay, we'll go this way. And man, I've got to get my health back up right here. Can we break these blocks as well? I've not really thought about that. This pick might be able to break them. Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, let's smash through this glass. And uh... Oh, look, a chest. Oh, this is our... Um... Actually, we should probably just take one of those, because if we die, the whole point is um, that there's you know a whole bunch there so you can make several attempts. Oh, there we go. That's what that's... That is that I'm seeing. Um, so is that actually our first wall there? Because <laughs> there's not much else in here, is there? We found no mobs. Maybe we've somehow managed to bypass all of them. I guess the thing to do now is to get out of here, right? Just climb out. We got the wall. That's it. Uh, what way did we come into here? Yeah, this is it. This is it right here. Let's pillar out this way. Uh, we can also pick up some blocks here as well if ever we need them, which is cool. So we got our first wall. And now we've got to get out of here safely. There is a spider up there waiting for me to come out. He wants to to kill me and, and take all of my things. Right. Let's do... Oh, God, 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 God. <laughs> I was... Ah! Oh, I was supposed to be doing that safely, and somehow I managed to mess it up. Okay, let's give it one more attempt. This time, let's have a look at where we are before we get there. And now I feel safe. There we go. Okay, you're dead. Good stuff. All right, so we got our um, our first wall. I guess we should take that to the monument room. One thing I'd like to do is pick up all of the trophies that we've seen so far. I think we found four of them around the place, and they'll come with rewards as well. And then before we take on that room on the right, we need to get geared up and just figure out what we're doing, because there was a lot of skeletons in there, and we do not have the kind of armor to resist that. Can we see them? Look, there's some creepers there as well. All right then, so uh, let me do these things, and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I've been around picking up the trophies, and if we have a look in our quest book, there is something that we need to turn in. I think it comes with uh, a reward as well. So Ghastly Wall, look at that, extra heart canister and a biosphere, no idea. Love that sound, very cool stuff. Uh, yeah, no idea what that's going to be. So we've now, I don't think we've actually opened up any more quests. However, this one over here is something we can definitely do, and I want to look up these actually before we do this to find out what exactly the properties of each of those are. I've got a feeling it's not going to make a huge difference, uh, but it'll be interesting to find out. So, what is the biosphere? Let's have a look at this thing. Look at that, it's got a stored size. I think that's going to be another chamber slash room thing like that one over there. So we're going to have something else to investigate. I'm not sure if we can take on those mobs yet, um, so I'm not sure if we're going to uh, 
to continue in that one or we'll check out the biosphere but if we go to uh, the secrets down here we've done 25% of these already and we get reward bags for them so let's have a look at what we're gonna get from these and we'll just let those sounds overlap a little. Did I claim that one? I didn't. Okay cool stuff we've got five of these and one over there. Do they stack? Oh look at that that one said good. Basic. Okay let's open the good one. Three blocks of iron! Iron armor! Iron tools! <laughs> Brilliant okay so that was definitely good and now we've got salt pepper blocks. Okay, that's fair enough. A sauron chest. Interesting. Oh, we've already got a few of those. And I don't know what that is. And generic bees beehive. That's so cool. That is very cool. Okay, right. Let's open our uh, ME terminal. Let's shift most of these things in. We're going to take these trophies and that over to the victory monument. Um, this thing right here I'd like to actually place down. Let's just put it over here. And that's interesting. I don't know what this is. I'll have to look into that. Some sort of ME chest. Interesting. Um, let's open this thing back up. So we've got the biosphere. We want to hold on to that for a second. We've got an arrow in case we ever get bow. An arrow. We've got some iron at last. Another red heart canister. And wasn't there something here I wanted to investigate? Actually, no. I think we've investigated all we want to. Okay, cool. So um, I guess we'll head over to the victory monument next, I think. Or are we going to do... Oh, I just threw it on the ground. So silly. Or are we going to do a little bit of crafting? Let me open the book again quickly. I just want to check what it was we were going to do. This one over here. Ah, yes. So I wanted to look that up first. Okay. Yeah, I actually want to do that so we can find out what's going to be the best one to choose. Aha! Look what I found. After doing some research, I didn't really get too much information on these. However, I decided to use NEI, and we can see each of the different things. Now, this one out here is supposed to be poisonous to mobs, which can make it good as a weapon. But you can see there, its mining level is good. It's at redstone, so it's basically iron, and its durability is 192. Then down here, we have black steel, um, more durability, but lower mining level. And then this other one, where is it? There it is, the Ignatius. <laughs> Me and pronouncing stuff is always going to be terrible. Uh, that's the one to avoid right there. Mining iron, uh, sorry, mining level iron. Okay, so that would be like having a stone pick to mine iron, and this would be like having an iron pick to mine redstone. That's what I meant when I said iron. So we're going to go with that one right there. I'm definitely going to do that. It looks like a, a good thing. So we want to do a little bit of crafting right now. And uh, you can do crafting through the terminal, which is interesting. It remembered this from last time I opened it. So we can now uh, take some of this without touching any of the stuff in there, which I think is pretty cool. And if I can remember these recipes, I can't. I literally just looked them up um, a second ago because we need to make some of these uh, patterns. So we're going to need sticks. Are the other ones going to be nearby or are they going to be ages away through the old uh, list of recipes right here? I am really bad at remembering things, especially like little crafting recipes. So we need one of those, one of these, and one of them right there. And let's just chuck that stuff straight back into storage, along with these things as well. Love the way that works. That's really cool. And uh, now we can claim yet another reward. Um, except it won't let me click it. Why is that? I've done it, right? But I can't claim the reward. Of course, I have to pick one first, don't I? There we go. Okay, I've selected it. Claim reward. That's awesome. I love that sound. Okay, so now what we can do is actually make this pick with the materials that we've been given. This might not be the best thing, but do you know what? I'm not here to create the best thing possible. You know, I just want to get going and get ourselves a better pick because the flint one that we have, that is going to run out very soon, I assure you. Um, so the stencil table tool station is the one that we're looking for. This is cool. We can start to upgrade some of our tools now as well. Um, so if we chuck it in like this, in fact, if we press that button, we'll be able to see uh, all the stuff we need. And a shadow steel binding. Interesting. I don't think we're going to put any modifiers on this, but we do have paper, don't we? Let's just uh, quickly have a look in here. We can use the search tool to find... And we have paper arrows. So never mind, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, we will take that. That looks like a very cool pick. And we're going to find out if it's poisonous to mobs as well. So that one will replace that one for now. And uh, I think all we're going to do next is head over to the Victory Monument. And we're going to quickly place down our trophies and see if anything happens when we do that. And where is it? We're all the way up in the sky. So uh, now I'm struggling to see everything. There's the Chem Lab and the Victory Monument. <laughs> 
on that side. My mouse has been a little bit funny today. It's not so responsive. Um, these don't have the names of the trophies anywhere, so I'm just going to slap them down side by side. Uh, let's put them on these blocks here. Actually, no, I think they're going to look better when they're up one. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Awesome. All right, and uh, oh, I wanted to try something, by the way. Uh, this guy right here, when we right-click him, I was wondering if the arrow comes out the front. Let's take off our armor. This will be needless. What happens if we stand at the side? You didn't fire an arrow, or did you? Oh, look at that. Wait. What? <laughs> this makes no sense. Um, okay, let's stop that for now. But what I want to see is, can we pick up these arrows? No. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. I thought that would be a cool way to farm arrows right there. Let's go and place our ghastly wall over here and see if we get a reward or anything like that for it. There we go. First one on the Victory Monument. Nothing happens. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, let's go investigate those... Uh... Actually, we're not going to investigate that other dungeon. It looked really dangerous down there. What we're going to do is go over here and check out the Biosphere. So, I think when we take this thing out, it's probably going to save it, I would imagine. Let's uh, just yank it out. Hopefully it's going to be okay. And then let's put in the Biosphere. And then press that. Hopefully I did that right. Oh, if I did that wrong, <laughs> some of you will probably be screaming. Alright, so uh, we want to go up to the observatory. And my mouse is really being... being uh, <laughs> not being fun, that's for sure. Okay, so we don't have a proper entrance. Oh, we do. We've got a staircase. That's cool. All right, this looks really interesting. A biosphere. There's uh, there's farms and stuff in here. I can see a horse. So we've got some plants. We can bone mill that if ever we need red dye. Doubt we will. But we've got food, proper food. We can actually farm stuff now. That's great. Carrots and wheat. And what do we have over on the other side? So I imagine if I make changes here, when I take it out of that spatial I.O., they're just going to be saved. So we could sort of have this thing, yeah, like a, a temporary little haven to go to. Um, it looks like you can kind of expand your growth here as well. I did want to um, start growing some of this other stuff we got early on, the sugar cane and the cactus. So we got some dirt in here as well if we want to uproot that. And we got sea biscuit. That is a name from something. I can't remember what it is, but there you go. And look over here, there is a chest. We want to look out for these things. Lots of chain. Interesting. A reward bag and a bow. Nice. We have got ourselves a bow. That's awesome. Very cool. And uh, the reward bag is a basic one. Let's open it and see what we get. Oh, an even better bow by the looks of it. Or is wooden... I don't know, actually. That's an interesting looking bow, isn't it? So this one is uh, auto repair. By the way, uh, this weapon right here is auto repair as well. That's probably going to be a very useful um, a modifier for us to have. So we should look out for moss, wherever it is. Um, yeah, so skill level master. No XP yet. You get XP for these things as well. <laughs> it's ever so cool. I don't know what the re like the perks are for XP. In fact, if anyone knows uh, what the perks are, please let me know. That would be cool. Um, so this thing, anyway, I'm trying to figure out its durability. Yep, it's definitely better. That's really cool. And I think we've got um, a couple of arrows somewhere in the chest as well. So not much else going on here by the looks of it. I did hear uh, a zombie over here. And I remember this thing said like it was encouraging you to dig around and look for stuff. Uh, I just... Yeah, I did that. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Um, okay, right, let's remove some of these blocks. And shall we go down with a ladder? Seems like a good idea. Still got my ladders on me. Oh, look, there's mobs down here. Why can't I? Oh, it's because I'm holding shift. That makes sense. Uh, so we have to place it on blocks like that. And that was not what I was trying to do. Let's put it on the block down below. Oh, I'm holding shift again. <laughs> okay, right. And then we'll put one at our feet. There we go, and now I think we've got pretty much a way of getting back out. Right, let's take on this guy right here. Oh my god, that guy's got exploding arrows. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of mobs at the bottom of this biosphere. There's also some ores over there as well. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Yeah, this is a little bit crazy. I don't feel like I'm prepared for this in the slightest. We don't have some proper food yet. Oh my days. <laughs> right, we're actually going to head back up here and... Uh, yeah, and we're going to get ourselves some food. Let's get all of that stuff going. And then I don't know what we're going to do next. Okay, look at this. I've got a good idea of what we need to be doing now. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do is kind of complete the quest itself each time on camera, which I think is going to slow us down a lot. For example, uh, this one right here. If we just look at them, I'll do this all 
you know, off camera. Uh, opening up my inventory, I can go to the Mine and Battle Blade tab and equip three weapons in these sets of slots. So once you've done that, um, and I think you have to make a wooden shield as well, you'll get a reward of a sword. So that was that's uh, a kind of quest to help you gear up and get prepared. We've got a tool forge, tool forge over here. Uh, we can make that with the iron that we've got, and we can get some stuff for um, some more tools as well, which is pretty cool. So we've seen all of these ones. Going around to here, um, it says at the bottom of the biosphere there are some Certus crystals that have formed in the Galid Corythium. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, so a reason to go down to the bottom of the biosphere, as well as this coral wall as well. Somewhere in the biosphere there is the orange wall. There doesn't seem to be too much on the first floor, so I should dig down to see what I can find. So we are going to have to go and fight those bad guys by the looks of it, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, there's another one here for the um, biosphere as well. The biosphere uses a reservoir of Guild Corythium, I'm going to struggle with that one every time, to keep it heat shielded from the high temperatures of the core. If I collect enough of it, I should be able to use it in its reactors. So another little quest like there. And then a farmer one. We need 200 carrots and 200 potatoes. The thing is, I've got some of those in my inventory already and it doesn't seem to detect them. So is it detecting them when they're placed down on the ground or something? Still says... Uh, neither of each. Anyway, we're going to replant these so we can get them growing. I'm going to do all that kind of stuff in here, get some uh, farms going and such. But let's have a quick dig down in the middle area here because we dug down from the side and I'm thinking if we dig down from the middle we might have an easier access into that bit that we saw where I reckon the orange wall is going to be. And let's make sure we've got a way back out of here. Um, just leave a block right there. It also appears to be a gap going across to the side. And I can hear the spiders and bad guys already. Okay, and now there's another gap. And we do not want to fall into that hole. That would be very bad. And it kind of looks like we don't have too many options when it comes to placing blocks. Let's just uh, forget about our neat little staircase and go down this way. Okay, place a block. There's a creeper. That was very well done. Good stuff. And, uh, oh god, you're going to blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up, guy. Fall down the hole, but don't blow up. Oh, this is classic creeper fighting right here. You just have to get out of their line of sight and then that way um, they're going to kind of ignore you I guess. Okay so when we step down here there could be things behind us. Let's block that off and now it's only to the right and in front of us. Let's block that off and oh whoa 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 I thought we were safe. I thought we were safe. <laughs> I saw a creeper behind him as well so uh, oh we can attack so fast with this weapon. I see you guy. I see you. Uh, you. Oh no he's going to blow up now. He's going to blow up now. Yep, he's going to blow up right next to me. <gasps> oh my days, oh my days, he didn't blow anything up. <laughs> oh, okay, we're getting out of here, we're getting out of here. Wow! Oh my days! Oh my days, guys. There are a lot of you. <laughs> that was crazy. And uh, now we need to eat again. We need to be better geared up for this, I feel like. And we've got to be careful not to let our weapon here break, because... Uh, yeah, once it's broken, I don't think the auto repair actually works. You have to find some of the base material and repair it properly. So you've got speed on you. That's interesting. And it looks like there's an entire army of these guys coming from somewhere. That is a ridiculous amount of zombies. And we didn't get to look in that chest. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, right. So it's time for me to uh, to get geared up here and see what we can do with what we've got so far. I'm going to try and complete a couple of those quests as well, if possible. Look what I found right here. There is a uh, quest for a secret, and I realised that the location was sort of in this room up here. This looks good. Bronze leggings. Okay, that's definitely got to be better. With speed 5, does that make us go faster? And fire protection, that could be very useful later on. I uh, haven't seen any mobs that are going to set us on fire as of yet. And free good reward bags. That's awesome. Very cool stuff. Do we get the uh, secret thing? Seven metres away. That might not even be it. We may have just been nosy and found a secret little chest up here. Okay, so what about now? Three metres away, so we've got to go three metres high. I've got a feeling that maybe with a different thing in here, in this room, that you might actually uh, find something else up here. Right, let's go there. We're there. We did it. We get another reward bag. Let's claim that reward, and also let's have a look. Oh, wait, let's have a read of this. There are some secret chests hidden within all of the areas. Some of them contain rare loot, while others may contain silly items that have no use. So uh, I think we should actually open up the other room on here to have a look. And uh, if we go back, does that unlock anything? I don't think it does. By the way, this one over here, we need one more block of iron. So iron is something else that we're looking out for. Right, so I think what we should do is unload the biosphere, load up the other one, and then have a look and see if there's anything up the top here. 
Ah, I don't think I understand this thing fully, so check it out. We've got the biosphere here, and uh, and in here we have the inclusion chamber. So I'm going to press the button again to activate that. Thing is, when we go over to the observatory, there's either nothing there, or sometimes we get the biosphere again. In fact, now, this is something I haven't seen at all. It's being removed. Um, but when we go and press that button, it doesn't come back. We don't get the uh, the first one. So let's just try it together quickly. Uh, oh, I struggle every time to remember where it is. Down there. Okay, cool. And uh, as you saw, inclusion chamber. Press the button. Let's go back up to the observatory. And it's the biosphere. I don't understand it. The biosphere isn't even like in the machine. Yet this is the thing that reappears. And it's the biosphere after we've been in here. You can see that from where there's some blocks missing and where things have changed on the inside there. So I've got a horrible feeling that somehow I've managed to take what was in there and put it on the other drive, which doesn't make much sense at all to me. Um, yeah, really worried about that, actually. Okay, I swapped it over to the biosphere, and this is now what was in the other one. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This is what we were actually looking for. Um, I wanted to just go up here again and check for a chest like I said uh, probably a moment ago so let's see if there's anything here is there no there isn't but oh there might be some more things up the top here actually yes I see a chest straight ahead very cool stuff Ah, oh, this might be another way to deal with that room down there you know I was thinking in the capacity of sort of staying within uh, the boundaries but it does encourage you look at that that looks cool um, encourages you to go and dig outside of things so maybe we'll have a go at that room again uh, this doesn't look like the most useful of stuff. This will be good for potions if that's uh, one of the things it wants us to do in the game. And minecart with TNT, a hopper, and a, and a carrot on a stick. <laughs> yeah, interesting stuff. What about up there? Do I see a chest off in the distance? I think I do. Oh yeah, another chest. Nice. Okay, this is cool. We're going to do this more often for sure. Ah, this is going to be cool. Some things for making tools I do like. And my inventory is now full, so we've got to sort that out. Um, is there anything here we probably don't need? Maybe that, maybe some of those building blocks. Cool stuff. Let's see if there's anything on the other side as well. I bet you there probably is. Although now that I've said it, I've jinxed it, haven't I? Okay, let's pillar up here. And I don't see anything. Oh, look, there it is. There's the chest. Ooh, okay, some grass. We can grow some birch trees and some grass seeds as well. Good stuff. Right, let's go take these things back to our storage system. Oh, we are gathering a lot of items at the moment, aren't we? Okay, I'm being a little bit nosy here, looking in the room down below. We're in the green, green room. This looks like a good way to get in there. And uh, there's some compressed gravel here, so that's something that we need to, for a quest. And compressed dirt, compressed sand as well. Uh, but here's something that's going to be useful for our biosphere. Some more dirt. I completely uh, overlooked that one before, so that's going to be... Uh, very useful stuff. Maybe actually it's not the best idea to store everything in the biosphere though because we've had some trouble with swapping the uh, discs around for the areas. Uh, but there you go and we've got some reward bags to open here. A very damaged anvil. That might actually be really useful. Who knows? And then some good reward bags. Redstone, that's always nice. Some precision explosives. Cool stuff. And spawn spider creeps. I don't know what spider creeps are. If they're like spider eggs, then maybe a way to farm some uh, string right there. That's very cool. But I've got a feeling we're getting to the end of this episode now. So I'm just going to see um, how long we've actually been playing for. And then we're going to probably be wrapping things up. Oh yes, it's definitely time for us to wrap things up. I've got to say, I felt a little bit uncomfortable going into this, but I'm starting to get to grips with uh, how to play this map. And the thing that's probably getting in my way the most at the moment is actually the mods. A lot of this stuff is sitting here and I'm looking at it thinking, am I supposed to make use of this yet? But, you know, I can see that we can make some progress in the dungeons, which is what we're going to do next episode. And uh, if you've got any tips for some of the stuff that we've got here, I've got loads of items here that I don't even know what they do. So let me know um, if there's anything that I should be doing with the mods here down there in the comments. I really do want you guys to help me out with this one just because I am such a newbie with the mods. I put in another drive, by the way, because the first one, it filled up. Uh, but there you go, that is going to be it for this episode of Material Energy number 4 Hypercube. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, it will always be appreciated. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode.